Well, the King Ranch Museum over in Kingsville just opened a brand new exhibit. It describes the major role the ranch has played in the development of the American quarter horse breed. And just like everything else in the King Ranch, it's impressive. The new exhibit is called Old Sorrel to the Boon, and it tells the story of the crucial role the King Ranch has played in the development of the American Quarter Horse. It's a story that goes back more than 100 years when the ranch bought a foal from a rancher over in Alice, Texas for $125. Now that foal grew into an impressive stallion that was named Old Sorrel by the ranch hands. He was trained by ranch owner Richard Clayberg himself, and by all accounts, he was an excellent cow horse. That's why he became the cornerstone of the ranch's renowned quarter horse bloodlines. One thing that's really important about King Ranch's horse program is that everything on this ranch still traces back to a single sire, to Old Sorrel. And so we're at the eighth and ninth and tenth generations of his descendants now, but no ranch in the world has the genetic consistency of King Ranch. With a small refined head, broad muscled chest, and powerful hindquarters, the breed is both compact and agile, making it ideally suited for working livestock on brushy ranch land, and working cattle in particular. They're also pretty fast sprinters. The breed gets its name, in fact, from its ability to outrun most other horses in the quarter mile. Now, over the past century, the King Ranch has registered more than 7,300 quarter horses. That's more than any other ranch, and every one of them relate back to Old Sorrel. That's why the ranch's horse breeding program has customers from all over the world. People that compete in cutting, cow horse, roping, rodeo event, uh, events. There's also ranchers from all over the U.S., Central and South America, a lot of people from Western Europe. And uh, whether they want to breed to our stallions or buy our horses or just learn more about our program, it's a very international group of customers. Today, it's no exaggeration to say that King Ranch bloodlines probably run through virtually every registered quarter horse in the world. It's a rich history, and Lisa Neely and Bob Ganan have done an extraordinary job with this new exhibit that thoroughly documents that history. It shows awards, it shows a, a picture history going back from Captain King, and, and this area is called the Wild Horse Desert because of the tens of thousands of horses that ran through it before settlers came in. And it traces that all the way up to today's horses and those performance horse bloodlines and ranch horse bloodlines that we continue to have on King Ranch. It, it also shows family that competed over the years. It shows the horses and all the awards they've won listed and the actual trophies. And it shows statues and saddles and other trophies and memorabilia from internationally and nationally in all different horse events. The exhibit runs through November of this year, so you've got some time to go and see it. The King Ranch Museum is open Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Sundays from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. So if you haven't been to Kingsville in a while, Old Sorrel to the Boone is definitely worth the trip. By the way, the Boone is the latest addition to the ranch's stud horse program. He was purchased last year, and he is a seventh-generation descendant of Old Sorrel.